back at you with another liquor review. I'm Nico. So listen, you guys. I just this is gonna come out probably Wednesday. You guys saw a video. It's coming out Monday. Today is Sunday. Should have been a rapper. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so listen. We had some stuff going on. Didn't record a video for over a month. A lot of shit's been going crazy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have paid attention to media or anything like that, but so Kanye West had his little thing. Elon Musk finally bought Twitter. Uh, got a bunch of people their Twitter accounts back. Please follow my Twitter account. Um, anyways, I'll post it in the description down below. But so a bunch of shit's been going on. Uh, the midterms happen. Are you either upset with the midterms or you're happy with the midterms? One of the two. Who knows? Uh, anyways. Crazy stuff. I hope you guys have been doing good. Thanksgiving happened. The Lions started getting good again and then lost on Thanksgiving. It's the Lions. I like that team, though. Um, I think Dan Campbell needs time to blend in a little. And he needs to assert, like, he needs time for his authority to be asserted or his culture to be asserted, asserted on the team. But I don't know, man. We'll see. With the Lions, you never know. Anyways, hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. Um, Turkey, some Greek food, hung out, drank a little bit, whatever. Anyways, I'm trying to quit smoking, and I'm trying to cut back on drinking. So that's not the reason I wasn't making videos, but just saying that's, you know, a lot of stuff's been going on. I know you guys have a lot of shit going on, too. Posted a message about it. Anyways, today, though, we're back with another liquor review. Yeah, I had to come back with the liquor review, right? Now, this is going to be a little weird. So about a month ago, I think it was three weeks ago, a buddy of mine from church, Gostas, the guy who gave us the uh, Greek moonshine last time that I taste that I taste tested, he was like, yo, my daughter's getting married, we're having an engagement party. I want you to come out, we're going to have moonshine that's shipped in from the island of Crete. They shipped it in, they freshly made it in Crete and the island, shipped it in, or as we say in Greece, Crete, right? They shipped it in. Um, so we went there, we hung out, it was beautiful. Like the engagement party was what normal weddings are like. That's how Greek people do. I heard that's how Cretan people do. They do everything really fucking big. It was beautiful though. Congratulations to those two kids. They're getting married soon. I think they're going to Greece, I'm not sure. Anyways, so, but anyways, so at the tables, he had little bottles that everybody could take home. Now you'll see mine is a quarter empty. We got some kids from work, never had Greek moonshine. They wanted to try it, so I emptied out like a more like a little a little over a quarter of it to somebody so they could take it home whatever it is what it is but anyways so this doesn't have a company or doesn't have a make to it or anything like that hold on guys hold on boys i'm getting a phone call mobile press you connect phone button to answer hold on boys hello yeah what's up bro i'm doing a video right now Okay. Um, make them around three, four o'clock. Yeah. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, peace. Sorry, guys. That was uh, Big Bro. So Big Bro called me. Anyways, so this is made in somebody like legitimately the people who made this for the uh, engagement party made it in their backyard. They have a bunch of distills and they make them in their backyard and then they shipped them over. They flew over here with it. I don't know how they got it over here, but they flew over here with it. So there's no company. There's nothing for this. It was made in this. The, I met the dude who made it. He's from somewhere in Crete. I can't remember where he said he, from Crete he's from, but he's somewhere from over there. Um, and they put them in nice little bottles, right? So I was like definitely going to take one because they put one at the table. There was one that was moonshine that was made with honey. Didn't get to snatch a bottle of that, but I got to snatch this. So this is Crete moonshine. We tasted Crete moonshine last time. But that was one that was sold marketly. This is one that's made in the backyard. Again, guys, if you guys have stuff you guys want me to try our review, email down in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook or even on YouTube, and we'll try your guys' stuff out. So I didn't taste this one yet, only because I gave some to my friends at work and <clears throat> didn't really feel like drinking, to be honest with you. I'm on a diet. I'm on fast for 40 days. So I haven't really been drinking. No meat, no dairy products, just all vegetables. Um, and bread. I can eat bread, but so you know, it's a little. So I, I understand the difference here. So, where me and Big Bro come from, they make this same kind of thing. They make this moonshine, but they put. We say glicanjo in Greek. I think it's called acine. 
or I see. <coughs> Sorry, a sini in English, but it's like a, a, a herb, a seed herb, a flower vegetable. We put that in there when we make moonshine and it gives it more of a flavor. Cretans don't do that. They double distill theirs. There's no spices added in. So theirs, I guess, is a little more pure than ours. Anyways, so I got my old glass out. This is a Greek uh, wine slash moonshine drinking glass. Let's pour it in, boys. It smells amazing. What can I say? So it's, it's like three, four in the morning. I know I had to do, do a video, but I really don't feel like drinking this whole thing. Anyways, so smell of it again, it's gonna be more, it gives you that distilled smell. You know that this came from a, a metal or a copper pot. You can smell kind of the copper in it. Not like bad wise, but you can smell that copper. And we're gonna try right after this, uh, the same dude who gave us this bottle and the bottle before, he went to Greece for something, came back and brought us a bottle from an area in Greece called Sethaloniki. So we're gonna be trying their cheapo out too. Moonshine, whatever. So again, you smell that copper. Wow. It's good. I had about, I didn't try it from this bottle yet, but I had about 10 shots of this at the engagement party. I got lit. Shout out to my boy, Matt. My boy, Matt, let me stay at his house. I was gonna drive home. You should never drink and drive. He was like, no, bro, you can stay at the house. Passed out. Anyways, so shout out to Matt. Um, this, again, does not have a, the, the, I've noticed the moonshines, and I, I'm a very big guy with moonshine, I love moonshine, you guys, but I've noticed, like, in Crete, the moonshines they make have no flavor. They're very, just straight to the point. They're not really rough. They're pretty smooth. I mean, you kind of feel the roughness coming down a little bit, but they're really smooth. Oof. See, I'm more used to moonshine having a little bit, not flavor, but the moonshine I grew up drinking from my dad's village. Again, they put that, they put herbs in their moonshine when they're distilling it the second time. Oh, we're making moonshine this, uh, in the next coming months, we're going to make it here. Um, so anybody want to do that, holler for me. It's, ours is a little more flavorish. It tastes like black licorice. Have you guys ever had ouzo? Our moonshine that my dad makes in his village, that they used to make in his village, they still do, it tastes more like a ouzo, a rougher ouzo taste, but it's, I don't know, it's more flavor. These usually just taste like nothing. Just tastes like a hard water. That, it's gonna get you fucked up. It's gonna get you really fucked up. Anyways, but for this guy, he came from Crete, man. The effort of him making the stuff for the engagement party, shipping over here, he even made a, uh, I told you, a uh, moonshine that's flavored with honey. He did really good. I'm gonna give this score a lot higher than what the actual moonshine itself tastes like. Just for this guy's effort. I forgot what the guy's name was. I got really drunk that night. Like, really fucking drunk. I'm gonna give it an 8-1. So, I'm gonna give this moonshine from somebody's backyard in another country on an island. I'm gonna give this 8-1. That's a review, boys. I'm gonna come back right now tonight and do another review. For another moonshine from Sethaloniki, Greece. Anyways, guys, remember the three most important things in your life. That's your faith, your family, and moonshine. And this moonshine, it's not that bad. Shout out to that guy. Um, Other than that, that's it, boys. Talk to you later. Boys, 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 boys.